him. Please wake up. Talk. Because what you're saying is totally unintelligible and he can't understand you. And we called him, so that means it's a waste of his time. So let's get him a good interview, right? Well, do you know what I mean? Do I know what you mean? About why he called it a day? Yeah, I know what you mean. Everybody was for Sid. I mean, Sid was like, I don't know if he saw any of the gigs, but Sid was like really shining out. And John was being like, nothing. You know, he just wasn't giving it anymore. He just wasn't, and he wasn't shaping up. He was looking awful. The way he was dressing, the way he looked, looked horrible. He, he wouldn't listen to anybody. And like, you know, I mean, it, Sid tried to talk to him time and time and time again. Should we kiss for you? We'll go to sleep later on. What are you looking for? Okay. Um. It's all right. I, I'm the only the only two people that I can think of. I would like to play with. Um, you know, I've been with. Sid, he's not interviewing me. Please try and wake up. Okay. Do you want me to make you a cup of coffee? Yeah, could you? Yes, I'll make you a cup of coffee. But will you try and fucking wake up, no, please? Please. Because we, we gave him an interview I'll and he wanted to give him a good interview. All right? You, like, you're not talking intelligibly. You're falling asleep on your sunglasses. Wake the fuck up. He's been very ill, uh, you know, it's hard for him to talk. I'm trying to get him to wake up and talk to you. I wish you. Yeah, I've been making him rest since he's back feeding him good food. Can you wake up, please? Yeah, okay, I'll wake up. Right, now what's the next question? He ain't gonna drop that, take it from me. Yeah. He's just fucked up, I mean he's been sick for three months that he's been on the road. The whole time. Oh, look at that poster up there, he's yellow on that poster. You can see it, can't you? Why is what, what are you... Put the ashtray in the... Yeah, you put the cigarette on the bed. What'd you say? Put it in the... And look, I, I told him, I said, watch. You watch. The first thing he's going to say is, what am I doing here, right? And the band had so many problems at the moment. I'm like, that's the first thing he said. Fucking hell, I'm sweating. Yeah, stand up while I get to the door. Excuse us, I said. You just have to bear with us. I hope you're not really mad. Try to find anything on under. Oh, you a An interview with Sid and Nancy. Yeah. Sid and Nancy at home. Please do not be luck. I've been with Sid ever since the first day I ever got to England. Then we're partners in crime. And we have good fun. We wipe the shit off of And we help each other out. You know? Okay, far away, next question. Like, Sid would have died oh, 15 deaths if I hadn't been around. Because that's just, you know, the way he is. And when he's not, this is what he does when he's not with me. All the pistol songs in two weeks. I mean, it just made him want to work all the more. 
Hey, do you want to make a pornograph of me? Yeah. Give us a hundred pounds. We made one for Sex Pistols number three in Huddersfield. Yes. Well, after, 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 after Christmas Day. Yeah. Mm. It was quite fun on, on a dirty floor with the never mind the bollocks poster under us. It was great with one of those on. What were you doing? Screwing. Sucking oh, no. and being dominant, submissive. Sick looking my feet. Oh no, Sid. What? Oh. It's not even on the scene either. Despite all the hassles, what was it that you thought the pistol were you trying to do? I mean, was it just like re kick the establishment out of the arse? See? Ow! Sid, damn you! Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't it's help it. It's the eighth it. time you I'm you just so tired and warm. Spilled on me, spilled coffee on me, spilled orange juice on me. What was the next question? What was that question again? Don't drop it on me again. Second again. What was the question? <laughs>